Hi everybody. Today I'll show you how to create custom shop page in WooCommerce. So let's just begin. All right. So the first thing that I need to do is to go inside the plugin and click on the Add New Plugin. And from here, I would install a plugin that is called Shop Lenter. All right. So we're gonna simply install this and click on Activate. All right. So the plugin has been activated. So now you can see here. This is how our shop page is looking. So now we're gonna customize this. So let's just go inside here on our WordPress dashboard. And here the first thing is it, we need to create the template in the Elementor. Let's click on save templates. And in here we will simply create a new template. So let's click on add new template. And this would be the page. It is a customized shop page. So let's click on template. So we can also create it, the page directly, but if you use the template, that's also okay. So there is no issue whether you create a page or the template. All right. So now if I just close these sections, you will be able to see the shop lender here. So in the shop lender, we have the different option. So we have the universal product layout. We have the product tab. We have the ad banner. We have the special day offer. And you can also see the other options here as well. Okay. So for the products, we have the universal product layout. Okay. But first I would actually like to add the banner here. So let's drag this and put this here. All right. So in the banner, we have the banner image and we have the banner title. So right now I don't want to have any title. So I will simply delete this right now. And I will just go here with the basic image here. All right. So let's just drag this and put this here. And uh, let's just add the image here. All right, so here we can simply add any product image. So I think I would go here with this one. So let's click on select. All right, so this is looking better. And after this, what we can do here, we can add the heading for the products. So let's just write down heading. And in here, we're going to simply write down products. All right, and I would like to put this into the center. And after this, we would like to add our products. So that would be universal product layout. So let's just drag this and put this here. All right. So this is how our products are looking. So you can see here we have the three products here and let's just go into the setting of our product layout. So the first thing that we have is the layout setting. So in the layout setting, we have the default layout. We have the tape, we have the slider. So I'm going to go here with the default setting. And after that, we have the same height box. And after this, we have the number of columns. So I'm going to set this to two right now. And we can also increase the number here if you wanted to. All right. So now you can see here we have the space for different products. So now if you just click on the query setting, you will be able to see the product limit here. So I would like to increase this by eight. Now you can see this. We have the add different products. So the products are actually filtered by recent products. So I can also change the value here. So you can see this. We have the featured product. We have the best selling products. We have the sale products. And you can also see the other options here. So if you just wanted to add the specific category, you can simply do this from here. And after that, we have the option to exclude the products that are out of stock. And we can also exclude hidden products and we can also enable the custom order. And after this, we have the content setting. So if I just click here, you'll be able to see we have the style, we have the HTML tag and we can hide the title price category, category before the border. And we can also hide the rating. Okay. So let's just try to change the style here. So I'm going to go here with the style three and you can see a small change in the design of these cars here. So if I just go here with the style two, that is how it's looking. And after this, we have the style four. Okay. So I think the style four is looking better. Okay. So after this, we have the action button settings. So in the action button settings, we have the style, we have the show on, we have the position and we have add to cart button. So in the style, we have the three different styles. So we can explore these styles as well. But I think I would go here with the default value. And after this, we have the show on whether you want to show this normally or whether you want to show this on the hover effect. So if I just change the value to the hover, now you can only see these buttons on the hover effect. So let's just go here with the normal. And I can also change the position of these buttons. So let's just put this into here, mm, not here. I think we can go here in the middle maybe now or this one. I think the default value was looking better. So let's go to the default value. And after this, we have the image setting. So in the image setting, we have the thumbnail style. So that is a single page. We can add the image slider. We can add the gallery tape. So let's click on image slider. 
since we don't have any images that that is why we can't see the image slider so let's click on the gallery tab so in the gallery tab as you can see this we only have a single image here okay so i'm going to go here with the gallery tab and in the last we have the countdown settings so we can enable the countdown timer but right now this is disabled okay so now let's go inside the style here all right so in the style you can see this we have the two options the first one is the style and the second one is the action button style so let's click on the style here so in this style we have the padding we have the margin so let's try to add some padding here so i'm going to add the padding by 10 but this is not looking good so we're going to go here with the default value so let's just remove these padding from here and after this we have the border color we also have the content area so let's just add the value here okay so i think this is looking fine and we also have the background color that is white right now but if we change the color you can see here we can also change the color from here but i think we can go we'll go here with the default color that is white and after this we have the product page so we can change the color of the product page here and after this we have the typography product category and product title so i can style all of these things from here okay and now i think this is looking fine and one thing that I would like to do here, I would basically change the content width of our container. So that might be the boxed. All right. So I think this is looking better. All right. So let's click on publish. Now let's click on have a look. Okay. So this is how our shop page is looking. So we're going to go back into the customization and the elementor editor. And if you wanted to add the different things here, you can simply add the things from here. But right now, I think we are good here with this design. So now what we need to do is simply go back into the dashboard. All right, so we have created the template in the Elementor templates. So now what we need to do, we have to set this at the shop page for our WooCommerce. All right, so how are we gonna do this? We're gonna simply go inside the shop blender. And here you can see the option of product shop page template. Okay, so we have to select the template here. So this would be the template that we have created that is customized shop page. So let's select this. Click on save changes and now as you can see this, this was our shop page. So if I just refresh this, you will be able to see our new shop page here. Okay, so this is how our new shop page is looking. So I'm sure we can add a lot of the different things here, but this is the basic version of creating the customized shop page. So I think that is looking fine and simple. So this is how we can customize the shop page in WooCommerce. So if you really find this video useful, Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.